What's up guys, Quarter Order here. Of course I'm here with Doug, I'm here with the Nibbler, and I'm here with new guy Scott. We're at this old 1700s farm. We've already been here once and found some incredible things. Scott is a fellow Equinoxian with Kyle, so we're gonna have a little challenge, right? Yep. The two Garrets against the two it's Equinoxes. Not it's not gonna Oh, oh, oh he's yeah, talking okay. smack. It will be a, a white So we're gonna go out there. I didn't I didn't mean a can slaw challenge, Kyle. Yeah. Actually good thing. <laughs> so we're gonna go out and see what we find, have a good time. Back in the first day, guys. Later. First haul of the day, you know what that means. It wasn't anything good, it was just a piece of scrap. But there was an old house here. This house went back to the 1650s from what we could find. And we're really hoping to find some amazing things. I don't know where Kyle lives, or he's taking a break. Hopefully we all find some good stuff. We'll be back soon, guys. All right, score one for Team Quarter Hoarder. It's an old padlock. There's a marking on me, see if I can get it in the sun. It's so bright today. I think it's a giant S with some sort of design. Uh, let me clean it off and I'll be back in a second. Hang on. There it is. So it's got a cool S. This, it's a nice padlock, Scott. But it's got a cool S on it. And there's like a harpoon going through it. Ah. And Kyle said he dug a similar one. He doesn't remember if it was here or not. There's no shackle. But that's a nice find. I put that in the start. good find department. Absolutely. So one point, Team Garrett. No points for whatever team you guys are All right. on. All right, we'll take it. <laughs> Wonder good Twin start. Powers. All right. Oh, I activate. Activate. What's that? It's Wonder Twin Powers activate. <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. They're on the board. All right, they got something good. They're on the board? I think so. All right, let's see. Kyle's smiling. It must be good. I see it. Yeah, it's a big copper. It's a big copper. Did you, did you pick it up yet? No. All right, let's see what it is. Very careful. That's a nice one. This whole, next to this access road, all the way, Kyle, it's going to be an incredible day. Get a little brush? I do have a little brush. Oh, you got one? Oh, okay. Well, here's a fancy brush. It's a large copper brush. Yeah, <laughs> that's a large copper brush? Yeah, the other, the other side is for the small coppers. Yeah, it's a specialized tool, just like the Equinox. <laughs> <laughs> I think I see a, a, um, some markings on there, Scott. What do you think? I think I do. Let me get a close-up in the camera, and I'll see. Okay, if you want to come around, because it does make it. I can see. Oh, yeah, it's a matron head. It's a matron head, yeah. Can you see the matron head in there, Scott? I can. Now, the date would be right matron there where my head. thumb is, if you want to work well, it a little bit. Well, it looks like Team Knox is in the lead. Uh, that's okay. I felt bad. I wanted to give him a head start, Doug. You might have planted that there, right? Oh, yeah. good, good job. Did he spray paint it green? It looks authentic. Uh, this side I can't see yet, but that side I can clearly see the matron head, Doug. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, I can. And the date will be down here. This is going to be the third matron head we got out of here. Four or five 1700s coppers, although many were slick. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, if you work that a little bit, you'll probably get a date. Awesome find. Good job, new guy. Thank Boom. You. <laughs> All right, come on. Put them on. The new guys give me baloney about the glasses of shame. <laughs> There's the Phyllis Dillers. Come on, look at oh, they look good. Hey, if we need the glasses to see the date, you gotta be shamed a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to get a date. It's a little slick. He's gonna clean it later. It's a matron head. I think I saw a seven, maybe 1837. Oh, and look at that. As he's doing it, Kyle got the exact same lock. It's a little smaller. The S with the harpoon through it. Now find the shackle. We gotta find the shackle. <laughs> one second, Darn it, one they got time. another point for this. Yeah. Doug, they're winning. Come on, I know, Doug. I know. <laughs> Good job. All right, yeah, back here. A lot of good stuff. Nice find. Thank you. Right under the and they're going to work on that. Oh, you look good in those glasses. You can actually see the stars around the edge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good find, guys. Thanks. Oh, there it is. I called Doug over. We are on oh. the board, baby. <laughs> All right. This is a good one. High 80s, like 88, 89. It was only four inches down. Do you see it, Scott? I see it. It's right Boop. there. There it is. It right out. That's fat, too. Yeah, it's going to be a US or just like the one Scott found. Whoa. Let me mount my camera and we're gonna look at it together. Hang on. Ah, right, here it is. Let me move my shovel so it's not in the shade. I'm gonna try to just do it gently. Yeah, I can see that's a one cent side. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's the that. reach. That's really standing out. Yeah. There it is, yep, one cent. It's upside down. And let's see what it is. 
I think it's going to be matrix. It's very, I, very I thick. I think you're going to be able to see the date. Yeah. Look at the stars. Can you see the stars? Yeah. Without glasses. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful Really shape. defined. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that, Doug. It's beautiful. Oh, let me see if I can stand up and get it in the sun. That's a matron head. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Oh, you're going to be able to see the date. I'm I can sure. almost see it without glasses. Yeah. This was probably an early drop because that is in good that shape. That is in mm -hmm. good shape. You see, shape. as it's starting to dry, the details just start coming out on their own. Oh yeah, you can see the number. Yeah, you can look at her. Look at her face and all the stars. I'm sure I'll get a date off this later. Absolutely. I'll let it dry. Nice job. But, uh, nice. All right, we're, we're tied. We are tied up. Very nice. Thank you, sir. I don't know where the heck the nibbler is, but I'll go find him and show. There he is. He's, he's, he's digging. Oh, oh, he's in the street. He's digging the concrete. <laughs> yeah. Might be good stuff on that asphalt. Awesome. Nice job. It's just got a flat button. I know it's dark today. I'm sorry. There's the shank. Shank straight up and down, Doug. That's nice. Ooh. It's hard to see my glove on. I don't see anything fancy on it. You know what's cool too is in the same hole was this piece of pottery. Here comes Doug. In the same hole, Doug, was this piece of pottery. Yeah. Oh. It's got okay. like a really oh, nice, nice design. design. On it. Yeah. So well, the I mean, flat button's yeah. in nice shape. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, go ahead. Wow. I don't see anything on it. It's small, no. like a, almost like a cup size. Uh, that's about the size I got the other day. Yeah, this isn't a full size of your coat. But you button. got the shank where mine yeah, was. Yeah, straight over. up and down. And pretty interesting piece of pottery. Uh, yeah. And there's still red clay all over the ground from, you know, probably from the chimney or who yep. knows, the foundation. So we're at the spot. We just, there's a lot of modern trash too. All right, we know our way through. Good find. I'll take nice. it. Nice. Nice job. Sure. That puts us in the lead. Yeah, Unless we Kyle's got something. I don't know. Who knows? Kyle disappears. Who knows where the heck he went? <laughs> yeah. He right. likes to go where no man is. Isn't that the truth? He's way, uh, well, at least he's on this right side oh, of the road. Yeah, at right. least he's back to the right side of the road. This one came in low, Doug. Yeah. It was like low 70s, high 60s. The I came down here, it was only four inches. I flipped it up. I saw it come flying out. It landed right oh, here. Oh, yeah, that's a half cent. It. Oh, no, that's large. Nice. Oh, that's in good shape. Yeah, and it was not deep, and it came in low. But a good consistent tone. Oh, yeah, that's tell. all. Is all. The other side. Someone just called me. So sorry if the video paused there. That look, might be a Britannia. I wish there was more light today, Doug. It's so dark. Well, look, if you're too ashamed to wear those glasses, I'll put them on. No, no, I just mean it, 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 it's a dark video. Yeah. It's, it's overcast today. Let me clean this up and I'll be right back. There's a lot of writing on it. Hang on. All right, well, we cleaned it up, and at the bottom it says one cent. There it is, yeah, 1901, and Hong Kong up at the top. Look at all those Chinese writings and stuff. That is weird. It's it's thinner than a large cent, yeah. I mean, than, than a U.S. large cent. The back, I didn't start to clean yet, but I guess it's a Hong Kong one cent. Here we eat Chinese nibbler. tonight. Look at that, Kyle. Hong Kong, one cent, 1901. Hold on, wait. <laughs> <laughs> give me, give me, give me. And the me. back, well, I didn't clean the back yet. There's probably some stuff on the back. Yeah. Look but, how nice that came Awesome. Out. I saw it fly out of the hole and land over to the side. You're telling me it flew out of the hole. It flew out, yeah, as I was walking by. Yeah, that's a Hong Kong. Awesome. do that. That's incredible. I've never seen one before, a Hong Kong. That's really cool. Yeah. That's different. The only awesome. Chinese Hong, coins we had remember. were the old ones that had the Yeah, that's square. what I'm saying. When did Hong Kong even become Now, Kyle, its you're own? half Hong Kongese. What does this, this letter side. say in the middle? 1901, it was side? still yeah. a British uh, colony. What does it say, Kyle? It says Hong Kong one cent. You're, no, no, the letters. You're half Hong Kongese. Oh. Um, <laughs> Hong Konganese. He's King Kong. <laughs> he, who, he who finds me shall be cursed. Oh, <laughs> darn it. Yeah. I've had good luck with those curse finds, though, Dave. So Sorry about that. Awesome. I was so captivated with the I writing and the date. This side's got this beautiful, if she is beautiful, isn't she, Scott? Yeah. This beautiful princess. And uh, I don't know. I'll have to read it later. When I cleaned up some more, but what an awesome coin. 1901, that's what, 118 years old. 
Awesome. Almost as old as me. Cool. Let's go see what Kyle's got. He said he might have a coin. Is there a bust on it? Yeah. May I hold it? That's what she said. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be something foreign too, I bet. Unless... I think you're right. <laughs> it does. Did I stutter? <laughs> it's so dark today, Kyle. Can you turn the sun up a little bit? Hold on a second. Just a... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I mean, I see a bust, but... Wow. Yeah, it's not a button. All right, Kyle's going to clean it up, and he'll be back, I'm sure. I have no idea what that is. Uh, light. We're all taking a lunch break. And Kyle went to Burger King. We're examining his crazy penny, side. his crazy you, coin. I can see. Say so? Yeah. Right there, it says, like, a and fraction. One up. over 200, it looks like. Or right where your thumb is. Oh, yeah. If you take a... a light like here where do you see one over 200 20 right. it's not like there 18 yeah large sense they stopped making large sense wow 18, 15. it's so bizarre because this side you can see some of the head you can see liberty at the yeah, top right yeah and then this side is just the really right bizarre here. it does say yeah. united states of america light, like, around uh, the rim and you're right right there i see that little line kind of on the side well it can't because it wouldn't be United States. That's really good. I'm going to finish. And there's two wreaths. You know what I think that's indicative of? A wreath of Franklin. Probably. Yeah. Probably. A wreath of Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Motown. Yeah. It's a Motown scent. It's a Motown token. Yeah. No. Darker we're going to have to investigate. Uh, that's, I think it's going to be really old. That might be 1700s when you got there. I just got something weird. Kyle, I thought this was a coin when it popped out. It's very thick. Hmm. It feels like lead. Do you see writing on that? No. I don't. Do you think it's a like a really large bale seal? Could be, or just a big piece of lead on the ground. Or just a big piece of lead. I don't know. It's lead, but I mean, that is a, a round enough where I think that was purposely... Well, yeah. I thought maybe it was a bale seal. Hold this for one second. I'm just going to brush it, because if anything gets unveiled. It's dark, it's hard really? to see. I think it's wrinkles in the... Uh, yeah, I don't... But it almost looks like a design, but I don't know if it is. It might just be those wrinkles you get in lead. But I mean, it's so round. Mm -hmm. I, thought it, I thought it was a coin at first, but... I don't know, maybe it's just junk. You don't know? I don't know. Oh, he's looking at us, Scott. Come in here, let's pretend we're friends. We're gonna pretend we're talking about it. <laughs> and the Pythagorean theorem. When Triangulation. To... <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? Uh, one of us not. In this special pouch. Yeah. Pop button number two. Similar to the first one, smaller size, cuff button. I don't know if there's a marking on it or not. Full shank though, bent over. Came up loud, high 60s. Probably because how thick it is. I'll clean it up, there's gonna probably be just like the other one, Scott, some writing around the rim, something like that. So, uh, awesome little find, I'll take it. That's a treasure to me. Good job. Thank you, sir. All right, the nibbler's got something. He's holding his hand like he's protecting a baby it's bird's egg. Practically a surface find. Uh -huh. I eyed it up. Okay. Ooh! Wow, it's like staring at me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it almost matches your eye. Yeah. A little Why do you always wear sunglasses? You're so mysterious. It's dark out today. It's the uh, glasses are turned. I thought dark you were going for that blind man look. Like I, a blind well, man instead of a cane. You're like a, I drive you're like, like a walking blind person. with a. <laughs> you want this? You can have it. Alright, I'll take that. Yeah. I like that. I don't mind giving it to you. Yeah. I like it. Looks good. I've got my eye on you, baby. <laughs> I've got my eye on you. Now, say who sings the song <laughs> and then all, all the people who watch the video can tell you you're wrong. I don't even know if I have the words right. I think it's a different word. I think it's, you dropped the bomb on that, that me. That is it, yeah. And I just somehow threw an eye in there. Good find. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, I don't want it. I'm proud. <laughs> oh, good catch. Woo! I probably walked two or three rows, didn't find much, a spoon bowl, uh, I did find the flat button, but I had a really good tone up here, and I think I got my first Indian, in fact I know I do because I saw it already.
there it is. Ooh, it's getting dark. Here comes Doug, my Garrett partner. Get out of the wind there, Doug. Um, I'm sure I can get a date in my regular eyes, but through my phone here. Oh yeah, I can see the Indian. Yeah. There's one cent, clear as day. Awesome. I'm gonna try to get a date off that. Hang on a second. All right, like everyone else, I'm gonna put on the glasses of shame. 1899. I can see it right away. These things are incredible, Doug. Uh, it's they're it's like magic. <laughs> they're like magic. They're not very flattering, I know visually, but yeah. yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but it's 1899. Yep. You can see it. Yep. All right, here we go. Uh, Newbie uh, McNuberson <laughs> might have another large scent, Doug. <laughs> Who invited this guy? <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Newbie McNuberson. Go ahead. Let me see. That's another large scent. Good job. Oh, I man. told you, man. This place is incredible. It's loaded. If you want you a light brush. toothbrush, yeah, you have a soft bristle? Yeah. Very lightly. Like you're changing a baby squirrel's diaper. Yeah. Oh, you've changed a squirrel diaper before, I see. I see the <laughs> telltale green. Looks like a piece of it was chopped yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's, yeah, it's been hit by the plow. All right, we're going to clean up and be back in a second, but we're going to get something off it, I'm sure. That's like, Holy cow, Doug, Newbie McNuberson. Uh, he's got a Jersey State copper. Oh, my goodness. And look, look how nice that shield Yeah, was. much better than the one I found. This side, there's the horse. Look and at that, Doug. And the horse on the other side. It's got a horse's head. The date will be underneath. It's going to be seven. I can see the 17. That's 1700. 1786 to like 1792 or something like that. He's got a New Jersey State copper. Yeah. yeah and look at this. Beautiful shape. Kyle, look. There's the horse. Oh. And look, look at the shield. <gasps> look at that. Oh my God. As soon as I Holy saw that horse, cow. I said, he's got Jersey. That's beautiful. I've only dug one. This is, is there, much is, is better. Is Nova Cesare? Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I can see oh, one seven. I can't see like the my, date yet. My biggest. Yeah, can you see the Nova? If you look yeah, around I see the top, it, I see it. Nova. What's it? Nova Cesare or something? Cesare. I don't know yeah. how you pronounce it in Latin. And it's going to be 1780 something. He had his. Or he had his oldest coin ever a few hours ago with the 1827, and now he just destroys it. Man, that's. And Kyle, you were over here too. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Right here. This is where the Oh house. my goodness. Oh. God, I can't oh, that. congratulations. Well, that Thank you. One that, awesome it, here, I'm going to pass it around to the guys because I'm yeah. sure they're all going to want to hold it. That is unbelievable. That might have to find my pocket. <laughs> that is sweet. That is the nicest find of the day. It's a shame it's got that little nick on it. It looks it like a plow, the, the plow or something yeah. there. But it's, but it's so easily copper. identified. And there's That's so huge. many variations. As soon as I saw the horse, yeah, the horse I knew he had caught And then I saw the shield. Record. Last and summer. there's so many variations on these. There's a whole book written on yeah. just the variations. That but I'm unbelievable. saying, unbelievable! Look that at is that. A Look really, at that shield. That might be the prettiest one I've ever seen that out is, of the two. I wouldn't touch that hard no, no, at all. No, no, no. You're man. done. That's, you're that, done cleaning it. I, I'd yeah. put that right in your in the car. That is man, unbelievable. That is, that is nice. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, it's getting late in the day, but another. Oh, I see it. There it is. Another big copper. For Newby McNuberson. <laughs> Who am I this guy, Doug? Let's see here. Let me get that uh, brush here. Uh, here we go. That looks thick, like a like a like a U.S. copper. You see anything on it yet? Yeah, something's coming through. I don't recognize it yet. Let's clean this up and hang on. Back. You're right. All those old coins have They're been all right in here. Here, is, here it is. There's Britannia sitting down. I think that's Britannia. It's hard to tell. Her arm looks very strange. The date, we think, is 1747. But we're going to need better light. And there's this side, which is not as good yet. <laughs> That's unbelievable. What a good score. <laughs> All right, so here's Scott's coin. We thought it was a King George. It's a Hibernia. 
You can even see it says H-I-B-E-R-N-I-A. The date would be right here, which we can't make out yet. Early 1700s. That's the Hibernia. It's got that distinctive look on her arm where she's holding, it looks like a feather duster. And the date would be up there. I can't make it out yet. But that is an incredible find. Flip that over, because my, my gloves are all muddy. This side, you can't really see much yet. But that is unbelievable, a high Bernie. I've never dug one before. Wow. You already got a Jersey State copper? That is nuts. Man, congratulations. All right, guys, and here's the wrap up. And before I get into the few incredible pieces that we found, I just want to give you an idea of how much garbage we have to dig through. I mean, these are solid full of garbage, all of them. And, and, and I'm sure my machine can probably tell the difference between a coin and a bottle cap. But if you don't dig those bottle caps, you're going to miss this stuff. You got to get that out of the ground. Sometimes it masks it. Sometimes coins come up strange. So dig that trash if you want to get the treasures. I don't care what machine you got. You better be digging the garbage. But let me get into the finds. Uh, I'll start up at the top. This is just a modern change, nothing too exciting. This, I think, might be the top of an old key, which is the only reason I'm clean. I'm going to clean it more and just check it out. This is the Slaymaker padlock, most of it. Doug got one, Kyle got one also. This is, this. if you can read it, it says Deacon Station. When I found it, it was all bent up just like this. And I unbent it. I always look at my trash. You never know. I unbent it. I saw some writing. So I heated it up. I got a mallet. I tapped it flat. And now you can see it says Deacon Station, which was a really old burrow in the town we were in, which doesn't even exist anymore. So things like that I just think are really cool. I'm going to actually keep that in my display case. Uh, down here I got an old squeeze box reed. This, I don't know what the heck this is. This could even be, I don't think it's a reed. I'm not sure what the heck that is. This might be a really old lead bale seal. I'm not sure. I just don't think it's a regular piece of lead. It's just too round. So still a mystery. I had a couple of flat buttons. This one, a little cuff button. Uh, this one, it almost looks like it has a marking on it. Could be an eagle. I can't tell. It's, it's pretty crusted over. And then this one, which I thought was a two cent piece, when I cleaned it off, it's a beautiful flat button. There's no shank, but you can see the awesome design. And the coins I got, I got some really good coins this week in the wrap up, guys. Uh, one Indian, 1899. A one cent Hong Kong, 1901, which sounded great. It's actually brass, which it rang up much lower than a coin this size would have. Super cool piece there. Uh, I got two large cents, both of them dateless. This one's a little rough, but this one's actually really good shape. I could probably get a date off it. I swear it almost looks like it says 1-7, but I know it can't be. Well, I don't want to say I know it can't be. I'm going to do some more investigating, but it could be. Uh, this one is a KG-3. I was able to hit it in just the right light. It's uh, late 1700s, early 1800s, KG-3, but it is toasty. And then my one real, 1780 Carlos III, one real. That's silver, Spanish silver. That's incredible. And then I was nice enough to get Scott, newbie McNuberson, to bring his three incredible coins down just for my wrap up. He got the one large cent. Scott, what is it? 1821? 1827. 1827. It's hard to see, but he's got a U.S. large cent. He's got the Hibernia. What year was that? 1723? 1723. 1723 Hibernia. Look at that beauty. That's incredible. He's got these in hard cases already. It was nice enough to take them out just so I can get them on video. And then the incredible bucket lister, the New Jersey State Copper. And look at the horse on there. Nova Cesar, you can almost see it. It got hit by the plow way before we dug it. And then this side, there's that beautiful shield. What an incredible coin. So congratulations to Scott. He's already got him in the flips, but what an incredible piece. I did get a couple of Wheaties also. They are in my Warman's book. Don't forget, guys, if you want to get in, I'll have a link down below. Get yourself one of these Warman books. It holds all the wheat pennies. And uh, it's going to be part of the, the Wheatie Challenge this year. See who can get close to fill it up. Mine's getting there. And it's only February. And we start hitting the houses in the spring and summer. It's going to get filled up quick. So anybody wants one, link in the description down below. They're only five bucks on Amazon. But those are the coins, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. What a great place. And of course, we'll be back again. You'll probably see that next week. Oh, 
Ooh-wee, guys, that was a lot of stuff. And not to mention the Nibbler, he had three large scents. One of them was a 1700s Liberty Cap scent, which is unbelievable. Doug had a large scent, but man, Newbie McNuberson, congratulations, man. Hibernia and a New Jersey State Copper in one trip? That's just nuts. I'm glad I was there to see it come out of the ground, get cleaned off. That's incredible. We really earned it. We dug a lot of trash, and that's part of the hobby, guys. I don't care what machine you got. You better be digging that trash. The highest end machines, all those advanced features, those advanced features try to talk you out of digging things. Oh, don't dig this. It doesn't sound just perfect. Oh, don't dig that. I hear a little grunt on the end. Dig. Who cares? Dig. You never know what you're going to find. That's part of the beauty of this hobby. You might find something you just never expected. But hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting. I'll see you in the next one. Later.